O M G, O M G. Okay. So hello and welcome to Raphael Dawkins is the Combat Radio. And we're looking at the breaking story. Devin Haney fined four hundred thousand dollars for shoving Lomachenko. He's got half a mil to throw away in this economic climate. Okay. So Jim Kalfa writes this piece, it's quite hilarious at times, but anyway, uh, an unhappy Devin Haney has re revealed that he was fined $400,000 by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, but anyway, so Haney says, I still won the fight by unanimous decision, albeit a controversial one, controversial in some people's eyes, not controversial to me, Victorious Haney says, Bitter, perhaps bitter. I think most people would be bitter if they got fined four hundred thousand dollars. I'd be a bit peeved if I got fined four hundred thousand uh, dollars. What do you think about the fine? Do you think it's a, a just fine? Four hundred thousand dollars. Can anybody name me another fighter who has been fined four hundred thousand dollars for a shove? That's a that's a lot of money. That's a lot of cheddar. Okay, so I talk about the huge, the huge backlash against him over his win. Uh, listen, uh, there have been far more controversial uh, uh, decisions. For me, it was not a controversial decision. I had it 1-1-4, one, one, four, one, one, four, first time of watching, and then 1-1-2, one, 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 the second time of watching, in favor of Haney. Uh, so it's far from controversial decision to many. Haney calls Loma a sore loser and uh, this article aims to to suggest that Haney's wrong but I mean on each occasion that Haney that uh, Lomachenko has lost he has been a poor sport you know so the, that's not even an opinion that's just a fact he's been a poor sport Every time he's lost. And uh, Haney goes, I mean, Loma, Loma's stated before the fight, he said that I, I don't believe I've ever lost. Well, you've lost at least two times in the professional in the professional ranks and now three times. So you have lost. There's, a, there's something going on there with Loma. Uh, it doesn't give, doesn't give people credit when, he, when they beat him. And that's a part of boxing. You have to be able to give the other guy credit when, you, when he's bested you. It's a part of the game. Perhaps he has not been taught that part of the game. Loma hasn't been talking much in the media since his loss, so it's unclear what Haney's talk about when he says Loma needs to stop crying. Well, here the, the, the journalist, the writer, is playing dumb because I think uh, we saw the footage, many of us saw the footage of Loma crying backstage after his loss to Devin Haney. So... It's pretty damn obvious what Taney is referring to when he says stop crying. So once again, the journalist is playing dumb. Should Haney give Lomachenko a rematch? Well, I mean, did 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 Lomachenko give Jermaine Ortiz a rematch when Ortiz beat him? After Ortiz beat him, because mate, no doubt, uh, I made videos at the time saying that it was a robbery that Ortiz, that Lomachenko was given the victory over Ortiz. At the end of the fight, I think uh, Loma got a cup or something or a belt or something. At the end of the fight, he just walked over. He just walked over to Jermaine Ortiz and just gave him the cup or whatever it was. He just handed it to him. Uh, that doesn't definitively mean that Loma believes he lost to Ortiz, but it is an indicator. It is an indicator that Loma may have felt that he lost to Ortiz. I mean, in my mind, there's no doubt he lost to Ortiz. But where was the uproar then? Where was the uproar then? Uh, I've, heard, I've heard one uploader say that even if it was just one round, even if it was just a one round difference, I still consider it a robbery. Really? So, one round. Somebody else's card is out from yours. One round. And you consider it's a robbery. O-M-G. 
Shizzle is out of control, y'all. Okay, so Devin Haney writes, this guy is a sore loser. Get this privileged sore loser out of boxing. He makes excuses as he goes. Take your loss like a man and stop crying. It was set up for you to win for the third time in your career and you failed. Tell the commission to give me my 400k back for that push. <laughs> O-M-G. O-M-G. So that's the, the, the 400k fine, personally. Would you appeal? If you got fined 400k for the push, would you appeal? It's interesting. Seems kind of harsh to me. Now the PPV numbers are coming in. Uh, it was assumed that this would be a big seller, but apparently it's only done in between 150k and 250. Those are the estimates coming in between 150 and 250k. You will remember, of course, that uh, Javonta Tank Davis versus King Rai pulled in 1.2 million. So this fight was a far cry from the success of that fight. Maybe people were overestimating how much this fight would have pulled in in terms of numbers. But yeah, it's in between 150k and 250k. Yet to be absolutely confirmed. But have your say. It's the Devin Haney calling Lomachenko a sore loser. And being fined 400k for sh for the shove, the shove that rocked the world. Okay, so Rafael Dawkins, have your say. It's the Combat Radio. Like, subscribe, comment, share.